you have to accept that the weather is going to come into it and, and that people don't, never talk about conquering a mountain. They actually should talk about, well, the mountain allowed me to claim it. And it's all about the same in the sea. The sea has to be in a good mood and you then cooperate with it and you, you go with it, you go with the flow. Well, I've been lucky as I was involved with the first Blue Planet. For the last 35 years, I've been able to travel the world. I've seen some wonderful places, but I have to say that if you gave me somewhere that I wanted to spend more time in, I would come to the, the north coast of Scotland and spend more time there underwater and on the surface, enjoying the walking, the climbing, and also the diving that you get around here. The seas around Scotland, when they're in the mood, to cooperate, let's say, um, are the match of anywhere in the world. The sea is absolutely a partner of Old Pulteney. It is the biggest influence that we have. It really puts the DNA into Pulteney. You've got the maritime, not just the maritime, but you've got the, the brininess, the saltiness, you've got that coastal experience, and that all's borne about by the, the, the sea and where we are. Wick came into viewing simply because herring fishing, they discovered an abundance of herring. It was a very small hamlet, just a few hundred people, and they discovered that there was, there was an industry to be had. And then it grew and, you know, along came the shipwrights, the sailmakers, the rope makers, the coopers, everything. So it grew to the extent that it was at one point the busiest touring port in Europe. Your time spent in the wild is never wasted. You sit there, you quietly absorb all the things that are going around you. You get a feel for the place. And, and only when you have a full feel for the place, that's when you can incorporate some of that place into the finished product. A little bit like the whiskey here. You know, the whiskey here is just steeped in everything that makes this part of Scotland special. Wick's a very interesting place to make whiskey. Casts are permeable, they breathe, they're, they're almost living entities and they're taking in all the aspects that, you know, the environment wants to throw at it. Because no two days are ever the same. You know, you can go in and there's something different. You're not guaranteed how your day is going to plan out, which I like. For me, it's, it's, it's part of my life. It's the way it is, it's not a job. I've known whales. There was one particular bay where we went to. Not every day, but some days that whale would be there. And she got to know us. And after a few weeks, we would go into the bay and she would actually come over and you could look down and you could see her just waiting. And I would slip into the water and swim out towards her. And it was like meeting your old friend, the giant Labrador. Definitely that whale became my friend. I don't know what she got from me, but I got an enormous buzz from being in the water next to her. To spend half an hour or, or however long in the company of a, of a really wild animal that you didn't know until half an hour ago or earlier that day, to gain the trust of that animal, that's what's really, really special. And, and sometimes that can happen in an afternoon or sometimes it can happen over a period of days. Patience is kind of passive, it, it's quiet, it's sitting there, it's got a duration to do it. Tenacity has all those things, but tenacity is kind of, mm, I'm going to get this shot, or I'm going to give this all I have. Patience is in different ways, to be honest, but I mean, you're, 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 you're patient, you're looking forward to it. It's, you know, what you're doing now, you don't really get the fruits of your labour for 12 years, 15 years, 18 years. When you're wildlife filming, there are times when you're successful and times when you're not. You can't conjure up animals, so it's full of successes and failures. But it's always worth remembering what Mark Twain once wrote. and He said, 
20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. And so we try lots of things. Sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't, sometimes we're disappointed. But for me at least, the big decision was deciding to try wildlife filming in the first place because that that's just given me all the challenges and all the adventures that I could ever have hoped for. <laughs>